What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autodop and Al. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at Estefano's BMW M4 CS. This is the F82 generation and this is a 2018 car. And it basically fills the gap between the M4 Competition and the M4 GTS, which is like the hardcore version. So today I'm going to show you around it. We'll take a look at all the stuff that makes this special and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn Blast. Now, as you can see, the spec is absolutely delicious. So this is San Marino blue and it is, in my opinion, the best color for this car. You can also get like a Nardo gray, which also looks kind of cool but this san marino is amazing so the cs gets a couple of very cool things at the front you get a carbon fiber front splitter there attached to the front bumper aggressive front bumper lots of holes for air of course we've got the black grille as well and a nice little chrome m4 badge you also get the bonnet from an m4 gts so the carbon fiber one with a nice vent in there which just immediately changes the front of the car. You know, the splitter combined with the bonnet, it just means that immediately you see that this is a different thing, that it's not a regular M4. And nowadays you see M4s quite a bit uh, around these parts. And even with these little tweaks, like the splitter, the bonnet and the little spoiler, you immediately see that it is something else and immediately it becomes something special again, which is great. So wheels also, forged lightweight wheels for the CS with behind that the regular steel brakes. Carbon ceramic brakes were also optional on this car, which is great to have if you need it on the Autobahn, on track, stuff like that. But for regular driving, uh, these steel brakes are actually quite okay. They do fade uh, when you hit them hard a few times but it's more the pedal travel so the the pedal gets soft and long but the braking performance is actually still there it's just harder to judge when uh, they start getting hot we've got michelin pilot sport 4s tires 19 inch these wheels and these are 265 section tires at the front now this car was delivered on cup twos we actually drove this car on cup twos when it was introduced in the pouring rain it was just soaking wet and it was basically undrivable. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but this car has been set up for Cup 2. So when they developed the CS, they took the suspension from an M4 competition and then they tweaked the power steering and the suspension for use with Cup 2. So they wanted a sharp front end with a lot of traction at the rear. And you could also get Michelin Pilot Sport 4s optionally, but Estefano went for these 4Ss, which I think for daily driving are a bit better uh, because when it's cold and wet, Cup 2s are just horrible. But Estefano actually said that he thought the Cup 2s were better because they were more predictable. And he's had a couple of moments with these 4Ss that he was surprised a bit by what they did and the Cup 2s never surprised him. And uh, that is, you know, is something to say for that as well. I mean, if you know that these Cup 2s are going to let go all the time, then you're prepared for it. Maybe that's uh, what happened. So adaptive dampers and springs from the M4 competition, which is already a big upgrade over the regular M4 as is the differential you get on the competition pack it's also on this car and uh, that uh, that is just a difference of day and night if you drive a non-competition m4 and a competition pack back to back you will feel a big difference carbon fiber roof of course so the goal for this car when they were developing it is exactly how it's positioned so between a competition pack and a gts means that it's suitable for both road driving and track driving and it has a very nice balance in that you can follow estefano on instagram st underscore m4cs go check him out if you want to follow his m4cs content at the rear we've got the oled rear lights from an m4 gts we've got a little gurney spoiler here on the boot lid and then you get a different exhaust as well i'm not sure if that's the same as a, an m4 gts but it is different compared to a competition pack with a nice carbon diffuser there as well so if we take a look at the engine
we can see that this indeed is carbon fiber and very beautiful that is just stunning and then we've got the it's been a long time since i've seen one of these s55 with the beautiful carbon strut brace this is a stock car so it's got 460 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque so it's a 10 horsepower bump over uh, a competition pack and it is so it's a 10 horsepower bump over an m4 competition and it is uh, a deficit of 40 horsepower compared to an m4 gts of course the gts has uh, water injection as well uh, and a couple of other things it's a completely different animal this is more based on the competition and there are no hardware changes uh, except for that exhaust to this powertrain so yeah 3.9 seconds to 100 280 kilometers an hour top speed oh that is light wow that uh, that weighs absolutely nothing so that is what they try to do they try to oh yeah these carbon hoods have to be careful so that is what they try to do they try to shed some weight so 32 kilos compared to an m4 but they also wanted to lower the center of gravity so you've got a carbon bonnet you've got a carbon roof which you already had and then you have these compressed or pressed fiber door panels which you also get in an m4 gts with like a well an armrest that is just there for show because it's not really an armrest if it's angled like that and then you've got these instead of door handles you also get these bucket seats with the holes in them alcantara a little m striping there and uh, you don't have any storage in there anymore which in itself is not a problem but it does mean that it's a bit lower as well so the armrest is gone or at least it's lower i feel like so when you're sitting in the car let me just demonstrate um, this is something that Martijn still remembers from my initial review of the M4CS a couple of years ago. It feels like you're constantly doing the chicken dance because your arm is scooching down off this armrest and this is super low so you're always like trying to find a good spot when you're driving like on a highway. When you're just driving you know hard or on a B road or on the autobahn it's you don't really notice it but sometimes you're like trying to find like a comfortable seating position anyway start it up so we've got an Alcantara steering wheel as well which is super nice it's a bit thick but still I quite like it and this is something I don't think I've ever seen it, this car has the basic climate control so it doesn't have the two zone or the four zone or the two zone uh, it just has the regular basic with twisty knobs i'm not sure maybe this saves weight as well but uh, that is quite cool i haven't seen that before you also get this alcantara on the dash with the cs logo there so yeah it is a very very nice car you don't see these m4 cs's a lot uh, they are quite rare bmw in 2017 said that they were going to build 3,000 of them uh, with 1,000 of those going to the us but apparently I, I saw an article that they didn't really make that so I'm not sure how, how many they actually made. I think the article said like they are at 2,000 something now. So they're not going to get to 3,000. So we're not really sure how many they made, but it's not a lot. And you can see that because M4s, you see them quite often, but the CS's are super rare, which is nice. I really like that. Okay, so let's go for a drive. We'll turn off the traction control. And the we've got the MDCT gearbox dual clutch transmission and then we've got our configuration down here so I'm going for Sport Plus Sport Plus for the suspension Sport Plus for the engine and then Comfort for the steering because you might remember these F80 F82s when you turn up the steering to like Sport or Sport Plus it's comically heavy and And in, uh, in comfort it's actually perfect it's perfectly weighted so I always leave it in comfort I really like that okay so this car is bone stock and I really really like that because I like the sound of it 
stock, I think it sounds better with a stock exhaust, the CS at least, or the GTS, and uh, the M Performance exhaust for the F80, M3 and M4 are really good as well. I think we drove a single mid-pipe one once, or an equal length, I think, yeah, that sounded really good. But other than that, they just sound loud, and it just, it's not a nice sound. Clean, it's clear, it sounds like a six cylinder with like a little metallic rasp. Yeah, I think it's a good sound. I really do. So. Oh man, it is quite cold out today, but still it grips quite well. It's, if you are like just a touch delicate with the throttle, you can do really, crazy like corner speeds but if you are a bit ham-footed so if you try to force it then it will just absolutely slide all over the place but there's a really nice balance in this car and I really like that it feels it feels agile it feels light it, it's not that light it weighs 1580 kilos I think but it is a lot lighter of course than the newer uh, G80 generation traction is actually really good so we can do a launch control right here as I said 0 to 100 3.9 seconds and you can hear and feel the gearbox the traction control managing everything to get you from 0 to 100 as quickly as possible so just hit the throttle three and a half thousand rpm so even though I am in the most ferocious gearbox setting number three you can feel that it's like slipping a little bit to give you better traction because that is a downside of this gearbox the shifts are very hard and they can upset the balance a little bit so if you shift mid corner it can break traction for like a fraction of a second uh, in the dry that doesn't really matter but in the wet it can be quite tricky It, it does feel very nice. Oh, that, it is a very nice car. It, it really is. And I love the steering in this thing, especially in comfort. It's so good. See, it will go, it will let go all of a sudden. So Estefano also has a nice little mod here, which is if you use the cruise control button, when the cruise control is off, you can operate the exhaust valves. So they're closed now. Yeah, they're closed. So it's, it's pretty quiet. Quite like that. And then if we hit that button, yeah, it's open. And I also saw uh, that he has CarPlay, Apple CarPlay on, the, on this system, which I, I don't think was available. So I think that's a, a retrofit as well, which is nice. Okay, on to the Ultiman. We're going to hit Sport for the suspension. And then we are going to race this Beetle. It's actually way quicker to shift just after 6,000 RPM and not let it run all the way to the red line at 7,500 because you can just feel that the car is out of breath at the top of the revs. It's a really big difference. So sport suspension is really good for the Ultima. That's 275 brakes yeah that, that's not bad you can feel the pedal getting longer already and that is just after slowing down once so that is the downside of these steel brakes but for daily driving they're absolutely fine so I'm going to try and show you guys that if I hit you know third gear shift at the red line it's you, you, 
get like a big boost when you shift it starts accelerating harder so that means that it's just running out and if you shift earlier you just stay in that like power band basically and it's a big difference so 100 to 200 we measured that of course and we did an 8.67 which is seriously quick for stock F4 that is really quick actually 276 but you can see that it is like among Mercedes AMG C63 S's and stuff like that with 510 horsepower so and V8 so it's actually very quick it is even the same time as a G83 BMW M4 competition convertible X-Drive so the new generation and the heaviest granted but still that is that is not bad and I actually prefer this generation with stock power I mean it might be fun on the automat to have like six or seven hundred horsepower in one of these but it, it just means that they become almost undrivable because if they have too much torque I think we had like one with close to 600 horsepower but it had like 700 or 800 newton meters of torque it was just too much you're just constantly managing that torque you're always like feathering the throttle because it will light up its tires so quickly and with this stock one you just have plenty of power you have plenty of grip and if you want to you can have fun but if you are you know just a, a bit careful you have so much grip and that is quite rewarding as well so that's it for this review thank you so much Estefano for taking your car to us really appreciate it to you guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video if you want to watch another one or go to this playlist of reviews thanks for watching see you at the next one bye